Yeah, it mean a lot, you know. Actually, we grew up around the same neighborhood. We played for the same youth league team. And I was just a guy that I, I looked up to and, and watched growing up. You know, he went to good council. I went to a few of them games. So just playing in that offense with him would mean a lot. Hey, Jordan, hell the pit, by the way. And, hell uh, the pit. You know, yes, sir. Um, what are some of the things that you pattern your game on and has the Bills been in contact with you? Can you say that again? What are some of the things that you pattern your game at mm -hmm. and has the Bills been in contact with you? Yeah, I had a I had a uh, formal with the Bills, and I feel like that went great. I feel like I crushed it, but I patterned my game after Calvin Ridley, Stephon Diggs, some of the names that I already mentioned. And you know what I take from them is just route running. You know, being able to uh, separate at the top of the route, create separation. Jordan, what about that with the Bills? Did you crush? I say the the plays, like the formations, going over the playbook. And I feel like the the information that I retained from them, I gave it back to them how they how they you know how they wanted it. When you talk, when you talk about route running and creating separation at the line of scrimmage, you talk about your mindset with that, with your hands and your feet right. and how you're trying to get open. Well, first I just look at the defenders' leverage where they lean into, and I know where I'm going and they don't. So I try to paint a picture like I'm going somewhere opposite than I'm, where I'm really going. Jordan's talking a little bit about Pittsburgh. Kenny uh, Pickett has been talking a lot like on this radio league we had a really good relationship you know coming in i wanted to make sure that i was looked at as a real focused individual so once i got there he, he noticed that and when we going say we're going through ross on there he wanted to make sure that i was the first receiver up so we can start that connection early and then we just transfer that off the field and we just built it close up what's some got, of uh, the characteristics of kenny that makes him a good quarterback and that led to I say his leadership. He knows he knows when to get the team going, and then his confidence. He got unlimited confidence, and he think he's the best one on the field. And then he just carried that swagger with him. Have you been able to have either a formal or informal meeting with the Steelers during your time here? Yeah, I had a formal. That was one of my first meetings. Yeah, how did it go over? Was it good talking with Tomlin and their other staff there? It went real good. It wasn't too crazy. It was just you know a nice little conversation, getting to know each other, and I, I feel like it went well. I liked them. I liked them a lot. Have you got a chance to talk to the Houston Texans? We got a chance to talk to the Houston Texans. Yeah, I talked to the Texans a little bit. It was, it was good. That's your team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> Specifically, going against him, he a real good DB, and he transition in and out of his breaks real well so I had to make sure that I was giving him different pace slowing it down trying to make him rush a little bit to guess guess wrong Jordan have you met with the Giants yet I like to watch this team have you met with the Giants yeah I met with the Giants how'd that go and how do you think playing in a place like LA this past year would prepare you for a place like New York I'll say just you know all the, the lights the cameras everything just the bright lights I feel like transferring that to New York would it, it wouldn't be no like it wouldn't be hard for me to to succeed in that in that environment. Jordan, who do you view as the top three route runners in the league? Oh, that's tough. So I'm gonna say Calvin Ridley. I'm biased to that. Stephon Diggs and Devontae Adams. Yeah, I met with Dallas. How did that go? And how how do you think you could see yourself helping that offense, a team that is searching for a Super Bowl and is breaking? They got a pretty good team, so they got a lot of great receivers. So me being put in that asset would just just help the offense out a lot. You know, they wouldn't be able to just key on one guy with all the guys that they have, and it just give a lot everybody on that receiver room a chance to to you know win their one on ones. I just see how smart he is and how fast he can make decisions. In a, in, when, in a fast environment. Jordan, we've seen in the NFL recently, there's been, a, there's been a trend of college quarterbacks reuniting with their college wide receiver, like Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. How much can that help the transition? Is that something that appeals to you if you were able to team up with Kenny Pickett again? That'll help the transition a lot. You know, just having your former quarterback, he already, you already got a relationship, number one, and then that trust factor. So him, when, once you run your routes, he trusting you to be at a certain at a certain spot at the right time. I know Lincoln Riley's had a lot of success with guys in the NFL, especially recently. How much did he help your development in getting you here? 
just the creativity in his offense and him showing me that it's a lot of different ways to run one route. Jordan, Kenny Pickett called you a pretty loud, outspoken leader in the locker room. Is that rare for a receiver? I'm sorry? Kenny Pickett a couple weeks ago said that yeah. you were a uh, pretty loud you know, character in the, in the locker room. Mm -hmm. Is that rare for a receiver to take that role? No, I wouldn't say that's rare. You know, you, you need a leader everywhere in every position in every position room. So just me being able to step up and take that role because I already had, a you know, a lot of young receivers looking up to me. So I just wanted to show them that, you know, it's okay just to be you. You played in multiple schools. What about from those things that you take as far as recognizing and growing from those schools? Just me being able to go to a whole nother system and, and pick up on it and succeed in it. I'll say my catch versus Virginia, just clinching that coastal. And that just shows a lot of people that in, in big time moments, I'm going to step up to the occasion. Have you met with the Patriots during this process? Yeah. Yeah, I met with the Patriots. It was a, I'll say that was a real detailed, a real detailed interview. How long did the teams talk about playing different slots inside, outside, how did you have I feel like my film shows where I can play inside and out. So, you know, I just I don't have no limit to what I can do. I feel like I can do it all. Have you met with the Packers? No. Nah. You haven't met with them mm -hmm. formally or informally? Formal? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. Jordan, what's the biggest difference between, between playing with Caleb and Kenny? Caleb, I'm not sure. 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 Caleb, i am not um, yeah, I want to say it's really no difference. You know, they're all great, all great quarterbacks kind of share similar, similar uh, things. Um, how NFL ready is Caleb? I know he can't be in this draft, but how people already say he'll be the number one pick next year. How NFL ready is he? I say he'll be the number one pick this year. That's how ready he is. Jordan, have you met with the Buccaneers? Yes, sir. Tampa Bay, it was a, I feel like it was a great interview, you know, just talked about a lot of great things, formations, details, and routes. Formal. Jordan, talking a little bit like with other receivers in this class, mm -hmm. the big thing with you is your size and just being able to play inside outside kind of what we just talked about earlier. What things are you kind of looking at from the college game over these last few years? How you're gonna be able to beat press coverage, how you're gonna be able to get on top of defenders. Considering that line of size that people and teams are talking about. Right. I mean, just looking in the league right now, it's a lot of guys that's my size and they are succeeding. They're succeeding. So just looking at Devontae Smith. So I feel like just being me, be confident and do what I did that got me here. Do you like look forward to putting teams about your overall speed? Because another thing that's been talked about is, you know, fast, but how fast? Yeah, I'm going to prove that tomorrow. So y'all don't got to wait too much longer. <laughs> tomorrow that day. Have you met with the Chargers? Yeah, no, I haven't met with the Chargers. I haven't. I'm sorry. Number one, just my mental. I feel like mentally I can overcome anything. Just going through adversity. I feel like I'm I'm the guy that just can do anything. And then my traits, my God-given abilities. I'm sudden, quick. My route running is really well. I can track the deep ball. I really could just do anything from it, from running an intermediate route, a shallow, or a deep ball. What do you feel like you learned at USC this year? Being in front of the camera. <laughs> what player do you compare, compare yourself to the most? What player? Yeah. Calvin Ridley. So Jordan. What was it like growing up in Maryland? How would you feel about playing for Ravens? I miss a lot. You know, that's the home team. So growing up right there, playing for them, a lot of my family would be able to make that game easily. So just playing right there, that's just, it'd be probably a dream come true. Jordan, Jordan. You, uh, what's some of the things you think you've over the tough things you had to overcome to get to this point? To get to this point? Yeah. Just handling adversity, you know, with success, it ain't always going to be easy. You're always going to have a setback. But just one thing that I had to stick to was just get up every day and keep fighting. Jordan, when you strike me as a guy that's calculated. When do you think that happened for you? Or is that something that you've always been like that even as a kid? Calculated? Yeah. That's just something that my parents instilled in me. Just always be a stand-up guy, respectful. Look a man in the eye when you're talking to him. So I feel like just growing up, that's what my, my parents had put in me. Jordan, the general manager Ryan Pohl said he's looking for playmakers. How excited would you be to be on a team like the Chicago Bears and play with Justin Fields? Great quarterback. You know, they already got a, a few great receivers like, you know, Darnell Mooney. So, 
just being in that being in that offense, it, it, I'll show them that, that I'm the playmaker that they need. Jordan, do you still have a connection with your old teammates at Pitt? You ever like talk to those guys? Did you used to play with them? Mm -hmm. I got a couple guys out here that I'm I'm real close with, and, and we always be on the game like every day. So it's really like I never left. I talk to them almost every day. What, what, what did you think of how, how they finished the year by winning the Sun Bowl? Did, did, uh, did you, you, know, you worked with Nick Patty, mm -hmm. and like that had to be cool to watch. You know, so SC, that's one of our rivals. So them handling that business was real good. You regret leaving? You regret leaving I feel like I don't have any regrets. Everything I do, I always live and learn from it. You know, I learned a lot, so I don't never have no regrets. I always think everything through Jordan, all my decisions. Was it the exposure? Like you said, you know, getting used to the camera and everything at USC, was it the exposure that kind of led you to go from Pitt to USC? No, I wouldn't say it was the exposure. That's just something that I decided to do. Jordan, who's the number one cornerback that you have ever faced in your college career? What made them such a difficult matchup? Um, I faced a lot of great corners, but I'll say this previous year, Clark Phillips, mm -hmm. real physical at the line of scrimmage, and then his ability to get in and out of breaks real fast. So that was probably his main his main attribute that made him really good. I know Tomlin keeps a close eye on guys at Pitt just because the facilities are so close. Mm -hmm. What kind of relationship do you have with Mike Tomlin that maybe you've gotten to know him over the years? I didn't really get to know him too well. I remember one time at the practice, they was warming up, and he had sat, sat, sat down next to me. And I just asked him a few questions, like how it's going, you know, how your job is. But we ain't, we never really got no got a chance to like talk a lot. But it was cool just to be able to see them. How do you say his job was going when you asked? I don't, don't want to say that. I say just my hands being able to catch and then my speed. I feel like I'm doubted with my speed a little bit, so I'm just gonna show everybody what I can do. Jordan, you talked about your route running. What do you think makes you good at that? What goes into being a great ball? Being able to change change pace and then using your speed, being able to have control speed. Some people going in and out of their breaks, they slow down, but me, I accelerate. Jordan, you know, these questions about Kenny Pickett possibly you guys getting reunited though. What's the process of building chemistry with the quarterback? And when you have it, where does that show up? I'm sorry, can you ask your question again? Just when you have chemistry with the quarterback, like you know, you might have yeah. Kenny Pickett, where does that show up on the football team when you do have that? Timing. It show up in the timing and then, you know, in big plays when the pressure's on. So so like third down, you really can see that chemistry show up. What what's your relationship like with Kenny today? Do you guys still talk frequently? We actually still, we actually talked like probably last week before I came out here because he was training around the same place that I was training out for Lauderdale, Florida. So just coming in, he told me to just be myself and be confident with everything I do. I think he's trying to lobby a little bit to try to reunite you guys. Hey, man, if we reunite, that'd be good. That'd be real cool. Real easy transition. Come get me. <laughs> Jordan, your, your quarterback at Pitt was third in the Heisman. Your quarterback at USC won the Heisman. Is it really you? Are you the real key to that? <laughs> it's both of us. You know, me and a quarterback, the offensive line plays a part into it. Really just the whole team. But what I try to do is when I'm running my routes, I just try to get open as much as I can to make it easier on the quarterback. Last one. Jordan, what's your pre-draft process been like? I'll say it's been really fun. I had a lot of emotions going through it, but just being here, I'm just fortunate just to be here. It showed me that I'm on the right path in my life and I'm just ready to showcase what I got. Thanks, guys.